Hello and welcome to the Tier 1 Interventions Podcast, where we share with you tips, techniques, and strategies to strengthen your core. The core classroom, that is. Without a core classroom, we cannot thrive. Learn how to create an inclusive climate and culture and environment in the regular tier one core classroom through a collaboration of the regular classroom teacher, intervention specialist, instructional coach, occupational therapist, and other direct service providers. Through this collaboration, we can blend our expertise to maximize learning for all students and specifically students with learning disabilities. Through this, we can also eliminate the number of students needing tier two and tier three pull out interventions. These back end body, brain, and emotional, mental, cognitive, physical aspects that students need to maintain and regulate before they have access to learning. Hey, everybody, listen in while John Lee does a Hear Me Teach segment with second grade with paper folding. No. Here we are, grade two, couple of directions. Leave your folder closed, leave your folder closed, and you should all have a strip of paper, and if you do not, go ahead and raise your hand, I'll bring you one. Did you get an extra? Oh, sorry, thank you. What we're gonna do today is get a little more formal with our paper folding. Because we're gonna need this for the beginning of next year. So this is gonna become one of the most important things that we do next year in third grade. So you have your paper strip and I want you to stay with me today. I want you to take your time, really embrace what we're doing How many paper strips do you have? Tell me. One. One. So we're always starting with one paper strip. So the number that we start with is one. How many parts are there on here? If we pretended that we were going to split this up in parts later, how many parts are we starting with? Priscilla? Two. We're always... One. One. We're starting with one part. One paper strip, one part, one candy bar, one sandwich, one. So we have the number one. There you go. Perfect. But how many do you have? That's the point. That's the point. We've got one, and we have not split it into pieces yet. Now, open your ears and listen very carefully. Touch your paper end to end. Try to be very exact. Touch your paper end to end. And you're going to pinch, fold, make a crease right in the middle if the ends are lined up. And you're going to pinch, fold. So make sure those ends are lined up. Try to be very exact. And pinch the middle, the center. Fold. Make a crease. When we open this up, now Priscilla, when we open this up, how many parts now? There you go. We started with one part, one paper strip. We open this up and we have how many parts? Two. Two. Now, when I have you do this on your own, so in February and March, we're gonna come back to paper strips a little more often. When I have you do this on your own, whenever you do any of these actions with the paper strip, we are going to document the number of parts. 
how many parts did we start with? Tell me. One. We started with one part. And how many folds did we do? So when I gave you your paper strip, when I gave you your paper strip and it looked like this, how many folds were there when you first got it? Tell me. No. How many parts? Tell me. One. But how many folds were there when I gave this to you? Zero. So I want you to be very specific. Before we did any folds, we had one part. So zero. So I want you to be very specific. Before we did any folds, when we had zero folds, we had one part. This doesn't sound like a big deal, but this is a big deal mathematically. It doesn't sound like it's very important. And it doesn't sound like it's too difficult, but it is very difficult. Raise your hand to tell me what does this zero mean? What does this zero mean? Cora? Oh, no, the zero doesn't mean zero parts. When I first gave you this, when you started with a paper strip, tells us the starting, the zero tells us the start how many times did we fold it? Zero. So raise your hand to tell me what the zero means. Priscilla. Zero folds. Zero folds. Zero actions. I did zero things to it. I, and when I did zero things, how did I get one? What does one mean? Cora? I folded it zero times. I have a paper with no folds. So, Cora, what does the one mean? Part. We see one space here, one sub, one candy bar, one stick of gum, whatever it is. Okay? Now, what we need to talk about today is the value. Now, I'm going to tell you what this means. We've been doing values... When you guys, remember you saw the dominoes and there were a bunch of twos? Yes. What's the value of that picture? Tell me on three. One, two, three. Six. Six. The value tells us what number represents. So the value, when I have one part, what's the value of one? The value. Don't make it, don't make it too hard. One. The value of one is one. So I had one part and the value is one whole paper strip. One whole paper strip. Now, y'all with me right now? You feel like you're losing focus and getting bored. You're like, yeah, we get it. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Let's move on. But... This is very important to understand what's happening. I'm going to have some of you say it again. Tell me, tell me about the stuff on the board. Tell me about the stuff on the board. Catherine. Now, wait, listen to this, Jackson. Regroup. Go ahead, Catherine. So, is how you start, and it, it is the amount of folds that we started with. Love it. What else can you tell me about what is on the board? That you said that the start is with zero. Parts, one. Values, one. One part is one. And that I just know Go ahead. Just that you put two, three dice and you made six. And that has nothing to do with our paper strip. What did this, what was I trying to tell you with that? What, was, what word was I trying to explain? The, the, value. the value. The value. Very good. What else can you tell me about what we just did? 
What else can you tell me about what we just did? Everly, what were you going to say? Or did it pass? You want to say something or no? No. Okay. Priscilla. So, what else can you tell me about what we just did? Everly, what were you going to say? Or did it pass? You want about the parts? Yes. So when you, full, when you had it, it was only one big strip. Correct. How many parts was that? And then we did one action. We did one action. What was our action that we did? How many parts was that? And then we did one action. We did one. What was our action that we did? Everly. We folded. What was our action that we did? Everly. We folded. What was our action? So when we now open it up after this one action, go ahead and open it up. How many parts do I have? Tell me. Good. I have two parts. Now, nothing fancy about that. Nothing fancy about that. I have two parts. This is the important piece. Raise your hand to tell me what is the value of one of these parts. I have two parts, but I do not have two. I didn't create two candy bars. I don't have two sandwiches. I don't have two sticks of gum. I still have one. The value, even though there's two parts, the value of this paper strip is still one. So when I split it, when I folded it, when I did this action, what happened to the value? Riley, how much is this? part worth? Take less. less. So I need a number less than one that describes the value of this part. So listen again. I started with one paper strip. I did an action. I folded. I ended up with two parts. But I do not have two sandwiches. Let me ask a different question first. Raise your hand to tell me what a value of two would look like. Let me ask a different question first. Raise your hand to tell me what a value of two would look like. Let me ask a different question first. Raise your hand to tell me what would a value of two look like. Warren, what do you think? What would a value of two what? Two what? Tell me with these. Two what? pieces. Not two pieces. Yes. What would a value of two be with these? Two parts. No, it wouldn't be two parts. What would a value of two be with paper strips? What would it look like? Alana. No, no, watch this. Eyes up here. Recheck in. Recheck in, Dylan. <laughs> What's the value of this? Tell me. What's the value of this? Tell me. Two. two. So describe to me a value of two with paper strips. Describe. Tell me, Priscilla. Two paper strips. Two paper strips. So if I have one paper strip, this is a value of one. It means I have one sub. One gum stick, one candy bar. I have one. I cannot create more than one unless I have another paper strip. But I did this action, and now I have a number less than one. What is the value of that number? Anastasia. It's not one because, look, this is one. And this is a number smaller than one. Two. Is two bigger than one or smaller than one? Bigger. bigger. This is what two looks like. This is what two looks like. We'd have to have both of ours. 
But what value is this piece? Jackson. Zero. Ooh, zero is no paper strip at all. So is this bigger than zero or smaller than zero? Tell me. This is bigger than zero, but less than one. Jackson. A half, one slash two. What did Jackson say? Tell me. That is exactly the value of this. This is a half. A half. What's the value? Tell me. So here's what I want you to do. On your paper strip, on your paper strip, with your pencil, all the way on this edge, as close to this edge as possible, you're going to put a zero. Because a zero is before the paper strip happens. What do you think you're going to put all the way over on this edge? How many paper strips is this? One. One. So as close to that edge as possible, that's going to be a one, because this is one whole paper strip. <laughs> on the crease, find the crease. The crease is where that fold is in the middle. On the crease, we're going to describe, we're going to describe this part. And how, what's the value of that part? Nope. What's the value of one of these spaces? Half. half. So on the crease, you're going to write the word half. H-A-L-F. Half. Half. So the value of one of these parts, the value of one part after the action for this one is half. It's actually one half. One half? One half. Nope, not, oh, I love it, love it, love it. Not one and a half. Let me ask this. Ooh, where's my fancy people? Me. What would one and a half look like? One and a half. What would that look like with paper strips? Yes. One and a half. What would that look like with paper strips? So how many paper strips would I need to show it? Why? Why? Yes. Say it again. One won't be enough paper to make one and a half paper. Strips. Boom. I'm going to show you one and a half. What's the value of this? Tell me. Zero. No, it's not. I see something here, so it's not zero. Let me ask you this. What's the value of this paper strip? Zero. That's zero. There, there's none there. There's zero paper strips. There's zero. So what's the value of this? One. What's the value of this? Two. What's the value of this? Say it again, Everly. So the value of a paper strip and another... Okay, so the value of this one paper strip and this half, this is one and one half. So it's one whole and one half. So this, we say it one and a half. That's how we say this. But this is not one and a half. How do we say, how do we say this piece right here? One half. Say one half. One half. Ooh. How many halves is a whole paper strip? Two. Two, two what? Halves. Two halves. A whole paper strip is two halves. Now, hold up your paper strip. Do your first action and show it to me. What's the value of this? Not one. 
Not to half. Half. Now fold this end to end again. So we're going to do a second action. We're going to do a second action here. We're going to do a second fold, a second action. So your size should look like mine. Did you fold end to end? When we open this, how many parts will there be? Tell me, Sloan. Good. Open it up. Open it up. Luke, say that again. Oh, Luke, you are fantastic. Luke said a half of a half. I'm going to put that in quotes, and I'm going to call that the Luke phrase. Luke, that's going to be your sentence. Half of a half, okay? Because we just did half of a half. Okay? Ooh, let's talk about this. Let's back up for a minute. Back up for a minute. I just did my second action. So Jackson, Stella, Sloan, Catherine, Matthew. Okay, Jack. I just did my second action. I opened this up. How many parts are there? Tell me. Four. Four. But said that the action we did created a half of a half. So now I need to know what is the value of one of these parts? What is the value of one of these parts? Jackson, what do you think? One quarter. Jackson thinks one quarter, agree or disagree? Agree. What do you think it is, Priscilla? A half of a half. A half of a half, just like Luke. So here's the question, how much is a half of a half? A fourth. What do you think, Sloan? Do you agree with Luke? Uh, one quarter. That's what J Jackson said, a quarter. Priscilla's agreeing with a half of a half. Luke is saying a fourth. Catherine? A quarter. Four quarters. Ah. Yes. A part of a quarter. Oh. Good. Talk to me. I agree with Luke for the first one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just because he's your best friend. No, actually not. No, we're having a good mathematical discussion here. This is fascinating. So fascinating. Ollie. So what's the value of Luke's phrase here? Half of a half. What do you guys, what do you think? What do you think, Warren? A fourth. You think a half of a half is a fourth? Because. Go ahead, Luke. I'm going to tell you the value of this piece. Let me ask you this. Is the value of this piece bigger than zero or smaller than zero? Tell me. Bigger than zero. Is it bigger than one or smaller than one? Smaller than one. Is it bigger than a half or smaller than a half? Smaller than a half. It's actually half of a half. So it's actually a part of a half. Here's what I'm going to tell you. It is a quarter. It's one quarter. But another way to say that is one fourth. Those mean the same thing. A quarter and a fourth. Yeah, because I said that a quarter is a fourth. It is. A quarter is a fourth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, so Luke, is a third going to be bigger than a fourth or smaller than a fourth? 
And then is a third going to be bigger than a half or smaller than a half? Luke, I want you to do this. I want you to fold this one into three equal parts. Three equal parts. Only three. Only three. Just three equal parts. Three equal parts. Okay? Jackson. I just I was looking at the parts of yeah. it, but I was uh -huh. like looking at yes. they're doubling. They're just gonna keep gone doubling. Oh, hold the phone. Three. Oh good. Jackson, say what you said again. Listen to this. Go ahead. So if I folded this a third time, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do a third action. Don't open it. Good job. Good job. Do a third action. Don't open it. Do a third. Don't open it. Do a third action. Make yours this size. Yep. Yep. You're good. You got three. You are awesome. You are so super awesome right now. Now, Luke, I'm going to tell you how many parts do you have with this one? Three. Three. What's the value of one of those parts? Half. It's not a half. A half of a half. No, 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 no. Regroup. I'm just going to tell you. This is a third because it relates to three. If there's three parts, it's a third. If there's three parts, it's a third. So this is the size of a third. So is a, there you go. Oh my gosh, can I give you a hug or no? You can. I can, because this deserves a good hug. You are, wow. Don't open it, you didn't open it, did you? Let me see your size like mine. How many parts do you think there will be? Don't open it. Don't open it. How many parts do you think there will be? Stella? Eight. How many you think? Eight. How many you think? Eight. How many? Eight. How many? Eight. How many? Eight. How many? Eight. Are you sure? Are you sure there's not going to be six parts? I was thinking Yeah. I was going to say six, two, six, six. Open it up and see. Yeah. Or six. Open it up and see. Count how many parts. So Jackson, very brilliant. Oh my goodness. So what is the value? What is the value? Oh my gosh. You guys, look, what we did was we now split this up and we have eight parts, but what's the value of one of these parts? Matthew, listen. Okay. Luke, it goes along with what we said. What do you think? It is. Okay, this is Grayson's phrase. It's of a half, which Luke, we just talked about this with your three parts. What's the value of one? If there's eight parts, what's the value of one of those parts? But what word would that be? And it's going to sound like eight. Eight. Everybody do the TH sound. Let me see your, let me see your mouth. Hey, wait a minute. It's not this. We don't say TH. We don't use our lips. We use our teeth. It's a quiet, it's a quiet. Now, everybody say, oh, hear me in four. Here. Everybody say H. I'm going to write it so that you can see it. One of these parts is called one eighth. It's got that th at the end. One eighth. What is bigger, a half or an eighth? A half. That we will discover another time. John Lee and I invite you to learn more about paper folding at disabilitylabs.com. That's right, at disabilitylabs.com, you can find 
a workshop called Paper Folding to learn more about how to implement paper folding in the classroom. Hope to see you there. Oh, and the link will be in the show notes.